hi, this is my very first video. I'm WriterLove48, and I'm not even going to go into why I chose that, because I'm not entirely certain yet, other than the fact that I love writing. And uh, 48 has something to do with my life, and I'm, I'm not 48. Not 48. They're just two of my favorite numbers. And I've already brushed out my hair. I had a small handful of my instant freeze Aussie. I used just enough to coat my fingertips of La Bella or La Bella. I don't know what I want to call it. And then a very, very little bit of Cantu shade butter stuff. And I am planning on doing the four strand chain braid accent hairstyle, which I've only ever seen straight hair or straightened hair DIY. I don't like using the whole acronym thing, but DIY. It's fine. I mean, they made a network for DIY stuff, so. That's fine and dandy. I'm gonna part it. Well, I already parted right here. But I'm gonna part this much away from everything else. And tie a lot of my hair over here. So it stays out of the way as I show you how to braid this portion. And I know there's videos out where they're like, oh, hey, here's how you do this braid. Here's how you do it here. And yes, they helped me get to this point. And yes, this is um, it's a lot more difficult with curly hair, which is why I'm going to share my tips. I don't have any tricks yet <laughs> for this, but uh, I'm going to share my tips, which... For the curly hair, you definitely need to make sure that you hold on to the exact pieces that you are using the entire time. So, if you have to, wrap it around your fingers in certain ways. So I have my four strands. They're really uneven. Okay, hold on. Four strands. They're as even as they're going to get. And you have to bring this first strand over the second and then under the third. I may have just dropped the ball. Hold on. All right. And then you take your fourth strand, you go under what was your first but is now your third. Of course, you always have to pull really tight with curly hair. So I really hope you're not a tender head. And if so, I'm so sorry, but this may hurt you. And then you take the third, which was your fourth, and you go over the second. And then you repeat first over second, second, first under third. And then you repeat from the back. And you do that very, very carefully not to mix strands by accident, which I have done several times trying to do this. I've tried to make this video at least three times. Yesterday I used too little hair, and today I was having issues figuring out the next step of this process, which I will show you once I get there, assuming it feels like working correctly today, this time, because this is the fourth time I attempted this. I got the uh, pull part, the, the, well, the next step done correctly yesterday, and then I forgot how to do it today, <laughs> and I only got it correct yesterday because I had just done it to my little sister's hair which was much easier and I did two of these on the sides of her head and uh, she actually has straight hair 
so it was a lot easier but I'm trying to prove the point that all DIY can not only be limited to straight hair or straightened hair because well let's face it straightening your hair just to make a video or for the day or well, there's some people who can keep it that way, but I can't because it's uh, hot where I live. <laughs> and showers are needed frequently because it's way too hot. Otherwise, and then people get sweaty and ugh, it's gross. So, there's a lot of showering that happens. And I figured before I went into town today, which is... What I did yesterday and I was in town all day and I had lots of coffee because they have uh, Walking Dead filming well not currently they're not filming right now but uh, they had the Walking Dead store which is uh, the Woodbury shop still I believe is what we're calling it and then they put a museum under it now for the Walking Dead they have a uh, the original Daryl bike, which is fantastic, and then they have um, the governor's zombie heads, except for their uh, CGI, I believe, or no, they might just be animated. Okay, so I didn't run completely out of hair because otherwise you lose which strand you're supposed to grab and hold on I'm getting to a point where I can show you how to make sure that you have the right strand okay so this would have been the well it would be technically the starting point so this would go over and then under and then this would go under then over. And then you pull all the first, third, and fourth strands go over here in this hand. And you pull. Like I said, this is going to be difficult. The first strand has to go over the other one. So the second one's left alone. And you pull it so I'm trying to show you see it's over and then you, it's so difficult because you have to pull it so tight and I did it before <laughs> and I'm not really ripping on it okay so you pull it to the point where you can just push it out and you make this big jumbled mess right here see looks like a monkey's fist knot or something then you loosen it up to make it look like a chain and I also have to try not to lose all that but you loosen it up and you have your chain so then you take your chain well you have to undo the other part if you pulled that up like I did you have to undo that loosen it up make sure that you pull that down because you know that, that's never fun you can put it back like that with bobby pins a cute little clip I only have bobby pins sitting here help if I could hold it but I have a uh, gel covered hands so that's one can't hold them two <laughs> And you pin it back to the point where it stays. Mine always takes two, maybe three. I have four sitting here. Pin it back to where it stays. And you know there's no irritating bumps in the back. I have flyaways right here. But um, they're fine. They're really short. And you can see, even though it's a little frizzy, 
right here, which isn't bad. You can't really tell from afar. And I have my little itty bitty chain braid. And it's not as big as you'd think because I took all of this right here. And if you really want, and this little, oh, hold on. Actually, it's not as bumpy as it was yesterday. It was bumpy yesterday, but now it's being nice. But if you want, you can, well, I don't want to pin that back. It's actually, looks not even, because it's not really supposed to. Because if you take the right amount of hair, it's not going to really look even. But it's okay. It's just an irritation, and you could probably put like a little bow or something right there, and it would look fine, but I don't have anything of the sort. I'm just going to make sure that that stays where it's meant to. This stays where it's meant to. I like having right here kind of straight, so I brush it down a little bit. It curls up almost exactly to right here and becomes a lovely fluff. But uh, it's not bad if I have as much gel and lovely products as I do right now. And I don't like when my hair gets all fluffy. And it shouldn't now, but right here needs a bobby pin. There we go. So that's the DIY chain braid four strand for extremely curly hair because it, I have not found a video where that exists. And as you can see, this is right out of the shower. No drying time except for when I was creating the braid. And right before I started the video. So, and then I have three different hair products in it. Um, trying to think of what else you'd need to know about this. I'll probably come up with another video to Maybe not tomorrow, because tomorrow's Saturday. I'll probably just do another one Monday. When I come up with another hair, when I, well, when I see another hairstyle or my sister asks me to do another hairstyle and I still have to create cover art and a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'm stuck home all week, so, except for when I go to a town, so I'll be at Sonoy later. And I'll be irritated by the fact that I have to be alone <laughs> and walk through Sonoy by myself. And I'm just babbling now. Bye!